Great. Just great. Great, great, great. And she's smaller than me, <laughs> which is nice. Um, thank you, Brie. That was lovely. Um, ben, fucking last one here. Builder, turning up late. Egyptian studio. I didn't know this was going to be a geography class, to be quite honest. It's going to be virtually gone round the room, and there's nobody from England. Is that right? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most English ever. No. no, was that you? Because I can't really see in this light. Was that, was that you? We, we do not live in Cardiff, though, so they did not have councillors on the revulsion. <laughs> <laughs> but we are from England. Oh, you are from England? Right. Okay. So when the question was asked, is there anybody from England, you chose to be Welsh. Is that how you go? Yeah. So whereabouts in England are you from? Leicester. Fuck me, it just gets worse, doesn't it? Leicester. That's nice. Um, I'm, I'm from England. Uh, I come from Gloucester. Although I am half Welsh, I will say that. Um, my family was born in Pontypool, so 50% of the years Welsh. I will be supporting Wales tomorrow. Um, I travel down in the car. This evening, uh, with a Greek guy, an English guy, and me, um, the Greek guy was late picking us up. Um, the English guy just fucking moaned at the toll on the bridge. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm just glad to be here spiritually, which is nice. And, and we got some Leicester people in, and, and, and that's it. And, and, and the builder. <laughs> you didn't have to say for yourself, did you, really? No. No. So this is it. Um, it's nice coming down to do sort of gigs because when you do stand up, you, you never really know quite what to expect. Um, and I don't know if you know where Gloucester is, but we're quite, quite close to Cheltenham. Um, Gloucester's quite poor, Cheltenham's quite posh. And I did a gig in Cheltenham a couple of weeks ago, just before I was going to go on. The MC said, Oh, Nick, by the way, did I mention tonight needs to be a clean set? <laughs> I said, no, James, you didn't. Um, he said, how long do you think you can do? I said, well, no, you just told me that about 30 seconds, to be quite honest. I said, when you say clean, can you define clean? He said, well, last month, one of the acts did two shits and just about got away with that. I said, okay, I'll bear that in mind. Of course, he meant grammatically. Um, <laughs> I, 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 cleared, I cleared the room. Um, <laughs> Just listen to that. <laughs> you can come to all my games. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to wear a fucking black t-shirt tonight. <laughs> this is, uh, just, uh, this is what, what do you think of this? This drapery. Right now, what you don't know is before you came in, somebody smaller than myself actually managed to put, put this up, didn't you, sir? Which was great. And, you know, the health and safety executive she was nearly falling from putting this up, but she's matched it and she's done a pretty shit job. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Um, you, you seem really polite because none of you none of you have sort of shouted out the fact that I am particularly small. Have you noticed that? You like fuckers. Listen, <laughs> you just I know I am, alright? Okay, I'm five foot two, um, I'm sixty-two inches, or as my wife points out. Julie Rose was just a fraction taller than five plastic rulers and he stood on the <laughs> And uh, I, I went to Alton Towers a couple of weeks ago um, and, and there's certain things that remind you how, to, how tall you are. And, and, and I was just stood in the queue waiting to go on one of the rides and I heard this voice behind me. Jesus Christ, he's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he hasn't gone up against that measuring stick. <laughs> and I learned two things from Alton Towers that weekend. The first thing I learned was that it's um, considered socially unacceptable to meet provocation with violence, <laughs> <laughs> no matter what the source. <laughs> Second thing I learned was that it's a criminal offence. Uh, <laughs> To punch. <laughs> an 11 year old <laughs> girl. Um, yeah, shit happens. Um, even, so I, I bought this drink on stage with me. Um, I don't normally drink, but it's a fucking free night out tonight, so I'm making the most of it. Um, 
My wife, my wife was going to come with me. We've been married. My wife's 18 years, you know, 18 years of wife. I don't mean like she's 18 years old. I'm not that lucky. We we just been married 18 years, and even she has a go at me about my height. Um, and we've got, I don't know, is, have we got any married people in the room? Yeah. Listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Where was that? Yes. Oh, that was such a, oh, fuck me. <laughs> yes, I am. You wait till you get to 18 years. It, it's, uh, it's hard. Because we've got to the stage where we've got to that irritating stage, you know, where little things annoy me, like um, <laughs> fucking breathing. <laughs> to be quiet. No, it, it does. That's just that's just how it gets. That's just how it gets to you. And and things like she'll say things like, and she's Welsh by the way. She comes from Bridge End. She was saying to me, um, "Are you cold?" No, I'm not cold. Well, I am. So you must be. Right? Is that just a woman thing? Is that? Is no, it isn't. It isn't just a woman thing. We'll get to things like we're driving in the car, and because I'm quite little, I can't really see out the side window. <laughs> and we'll come to a junction, and I'll say, is it safe to go? And she'll say, yes, it is. And I'm halfway out, if you're quick. Right? I, don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear that. And, and we've, got, we've got to the stage in our, in our relationship where we just argue about it. To be honest, we argue about everything. Um, holidays is probably the worst thing. Um, she's just got this thing. So we're, we're going to go on holiday, and the first question is, what are you going to wear? Sorry? What are you going to wear to travel in? Well, I'm just going to wear the shorts and the t-shirt and maybe flip flop. Well, I'm not going with you if you're going to be dressed like that. <laughs> it's like, well, what does it matter? We're going to get in the car, we're going to drive to the airport, we're going to get in the little bus, we're going to go to the airport, we're going to sit in the departure lane, we're going to get on a plane, we're going to fly, we're going to get off with the coat. What the fuck does it matter? She said, no, I am not going with you if you're dressed like that. And we argue about location. So like last year, she said, where do you want to go on holiday this year? I said, I really, I really don't mind. I said, honestly, I, I couldn't care. I said, you choose. No, you choose, she said. It's your holiday as much as mine. I said, all right, uh, we're going to Corfu. I don't want to go to Corfu. <laughs> Why is that? That's where my first honeymoon's got some bad memories. All right, okay, fine. Um, <laughs> uh, shit, where should we go? Ah, let's go to Zante, because I love the Greek islands. I don't want to go to Zante. I've never fancied that. I said, all right, I'll tell you what. Um, let's go to Jersey. No, that's where my first threesome. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hang on a minute. <laughs> You went to fucking Jersey last year with your friend Josh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've got to the stage um, where we're now taking separate holidays, right? And she really winds me up because it's all right for her to go to Jersey with her girlfriend, right? I wanted one week away in Barcelona with my girlfriend. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you think I'd ask for the world. But she went to, she went to Rome and uh, she came back. And said, did you enjoy it? She thought it was fabulous. Was it? <laughs> oh, it's bloody amazing, she said. So what, what did you like most about Rome? She said,